literally a whole video of me just untangling barbed wire. <laughs> oh Lord. take this moment to uh, thank Red Brand. Uh, Red Brand, if you're out there listening to this, uh, we accept sponsorships, obviously. Uh, but get in line, the, your competitors are approaching us. So I wanted to come to you first. Red Brand, since 1889, American made. Make good wire. They have the signature red top to their wire. It's good stuff. Cows don't like it, obviously, because Harder for them to put your head through, but uh, yeah. Red brand. Boy, don't you get excited when you see a ball of wire like that? Let's really ball it up. Just keep pulling on it till it jumps back in like that. All right, we're gonna turn this into usable fence. That was a really bad idea. I should have probably separated those, and now we really do have a mess. Like everything else we do. We're gonna tie it on here for now. Oh my lord. Look at this. Talk about a puzzle. Unnecessary puzzle. Just go buy a new roll of wire, Alex. It's only $89 a roll. Here on Real Hard Work, not only do we do physical exercise, we do mental exercise. I get my mental in by untangling barbed wire. It roughens your hands up as well as sharpens your mind. If you can know anything on a ball of barbed wire, you're all right, my book. Matter of fact, for all you volunteers out there that are lining up, uh, submit your application soon. Spots are filling up fast. But uh, be practicing your barbed wire untangling skills because that is one of the challenges on the obstacle course. You have to untangle a mile of tangled up barbed wire. Bring your fanny pack and water bottles because it's going to make for a long day. If you want to know what else is going to be on there so you can be sharpening your skills, uh, stay tuned and keep watching the videos. We'll be giving you clues here and there so you know what to be uh, practicing and preparing yourself for so that you can become a volunteer here at Real Hard Work. But I can tell you, none of them are going to be as fun as untangling bubble wire. The worst part is when you get it all entangled and it slips and it shoots back and balls back up again. Mine are set back. I think there's two strands in here, which really makes stuff complicated. Be a rancher, they said. I know there's those people out there that say, don't use barbed wire, it hurts the animals. I've seen Texas Longhorns walk right through barbed wire and then literally turn around and look at me, chew their cud, and you can tell they're laughing. We don't run Texas Longhorns anymore because the ones they send this way from Texas are the ones they couldn't keep in Texas. They're crazy. At some point, you just cut it, start over. Oh, I, I gave a tip away. Volunteers, you want to be allowed to cut on the untangling barbed wire challenge. Okay. I'm losing. Losing headway here. You got me all excited talking about our plans here. Here, real hard work with the volunteer challenge. It's time to focus. I don't know if you've learned how to use the speed up feature or fast forward, like a two times speed, but that'd probably be a good time for this. How did it get like this? Who did this? I should get a t shirt made. Just barbed wire all over it. The honest fact is that I would not be doing this if all my muscles weren't sore and tired from working all weekend. This is really just a way for me to take a break. In real life, I would ball this up, throw it in the trash can. No, I wouldn't. I'm cheap. Speaking of cheap, you know I got this shirt at Walmart for $8. Isn't that crazy? That's a shameless plug for Walmart. They got it going on, I don't know. They pay their workers fair. I don't see how they do with prices like that. 
Dude, what have I done? This is like the key of it all right here. We're in it. There's just a few little hoops. If I can get them undone, it's going to just fall apart. You believe that? Actually, I think I'm just tying it in worse knots. And I'm going to judge a competition if I can even do it. I should really, really separate before I pulled it. It's crazy what you'll do for theatrics. Oh, uh, that's a damn drop cord. Card space. Come back next week for the conclusion. <laughs> this is hard. Like when I'm trying to think straight, I can't because my, my thumb's throbbing so bad <laughs> from earlier. Okay. I literally tied it in a knot. Alright, step on that. You let that move now. All right. All right, you let that. Cue up, glory, glory, hallelujah. I don't think we're ever gonna get that thing done. After all that progress, look, look what I've done. <laughs> well, the good thing is when there's only one involved, you can usually shake it out. When two gets involved, it, I don't know how, but it always ties itself in knot. Kind of like this one's done. I did this. I deserve this. Short again. Story of my life. Just so you folks at home know, I wouldn't usually spend this much time piecing wire together. I would just say the heck with it. For the goodness of reuse, recycle, repurpose. I'm going to tie it in a very similar way. That's probably a better way to tie it. If you know how, shoot a comment with a link. Pretty much very simple. Make some hoops and just wind it down. This is the way I was taught. So this is the way I did it. And don't cut corners and try to make it really tight and really short. Just go ahead and use a lot of wire so that way you get a good grip on it. Because when you start jacking this or they're just going to use a crowbar for this short run you start pulling it tight those little short ones will pull apart and then you'll have a ball of barbed wire on your person see big sweeping hoops if you crimp them down too tight they'll break barbed wire is not too stable it's kind of finicky all right let's go secure it down there and then we'll pull it tight this way If you're ever going to go rock climbing, take you some bob wire with you, get caught in everything. It's like a drop quarter, right? Stay on this back side, that way we get the... All that friction from the whole pool. And I'm going to pull it back. That should be good. A lot of people, well, probably not a lot of people, but in my small circles, there's a lot of debate on where to place the bob wire. Four foot wire, I found that about two to four inches off top of the wire is really good. And then we go back and use some hog rings and tie it down to the wire to help hold the uh, fence close to the wire. Or you can use other bob wire to kind of tie it together. That way, cow won't go over top because the barbs will irritate your neck and they can't go between it. So if we're feeling extra, extra today, we might, you could always go back and put more strands. I feel like you'd be pretty effective with one strand at this height. If cow wants to get out, they're going to get out. They'll waller. The main thing we're just trying to do is keep them from wallering on the top of this post, which now ain't a big deal because nothing's really growing on the other side. But when you get places where there's a lot of vegetation on the other side and they eat out one pin, they'll do it. But if they want to get out, they'll get out. I was moving cows the other day and I, our bull, 
great bull lead him anywhere he'll follow you to the moon but i could not keep him in our little makeshift corral so this corral one corner of it is missing the top board it's just five feet high but one hop he jumped over it like five times this has already been pulled and untwisted if you ever untwist it it's a it's a struggle I got up first, of course. Of course, there's a barb there. That's okay. Running the wire. That's why I get the crap. That's good right there. Should have got my barbed wire jack. All right, let's see how tight that is. That should be pretty good. Huh. in slack for down the road. Now we'll start pulling it that way when we get ready. But for now, Time for lunch.